Hi, I'm John McCartney, Head of Packaging Transformation at X-Ray Pantone. I'd like to walk you through the Exact 2 and show you how it differs from the Exact 1. Here we have the new handheld itself. Compared to the Exact 1, you'll notice it's a bit longer. Reason why is you have this much larger screen, it's about 30% larger, and this tapered area to help folks with smaller and larger hands find the right area to grip. You also notice, unlike the Exact 1, there's no clamshell. The Exact 2 lays flat on the table and has integrated wheels to allow you to scan it. From this out away. The Exact 2 also has a docking station. This docking station is important. It has inductive charging here to allow you to charge the device with no contact. It also has an integrated white calibration tile with a QR code allows you to interchange any Exact 2 with any docking station to calibrate. The Exact 2 itself, on this side we have the measurement button, easily accessed with a finger. On the bottom, we have a brake and rocker mechanism. This allows you to, with one hand, disengage the brake for scanning mode, or to engage the brake for spot measurements. On the side, we can see our USB-C connection, allows for higher data transfer rates than the traditional USB on Exact 1 your charging indicator, power button, and the Kensington lock. Now let's take a look at the underside. The first difference that you might notice are the wheels. That's for integrated scanning, built into every exact 2 You'll also notice this recessed area in here. This separates the aperture from the substrate, in case you're measuring uh, wet ink drawdown or other uh, dirty materials where you don't want to contaminate uh, the aperture on your instrument. Also built in here is a media flattener for film, foil, flexible materials. This holds those materials down so you can get a flat surface when you're taking a measurement. The special frosted coating in here can be easily clean and is non-abrasive so you don't damage your substrate. What we just reviewed are the hardware differences between the Exact 2 and the Exact 1.